Hey everyone, Jesse McCollum here again with the Hurricane MTSC. Um, today we're going to be running the stick side of this machine. We've already made quite a few videos with this. Almost getting tired of running it because there's so much stuff to do with it. But today we're going to do some stick. We're going to do some 7018. We're going to do some 6010. Show you guys the stick performance of this machine. Let's get over to uh, our plate and run some beads. All right, so we're going to get ready to run some 6010 on this machine. So down here at this bottom left, we have standard and cellulose. So we are going to switch it to standard, from standard to cellulose so we can run our 6010 rods. Over on this other side, we've got our amperage that's controlled by the dial. We drop down, we light up. See our arc force is at 35%. I'm gonna knock it down to 25. I'm gonna turn off my hot start timer. I'm gonna turn my hot start percentage off and we've got our voltage reduction. We've got that on just so we don't shock ourselves. So now we've got it all set up. Let's go run some 6010. All right, so here we go. We got this 6010 to light up. Nice smooth start. You can see I am whipping it pretty good here. Show you guys that uh, you can pull in and out of the puddle and this little inverter just keeps on chugging along. Uh, nice smooth run. If you're wondering why it looks like the sparks are blown away, uh, we've got a fan running right next to this so we can get the arc shot. Just something we wanted to try out, a little different view of a stick weld than you've probably seen before. So, taking a look at that 6010 run. Now, fair warning, or full disclosure for my sake, uh, I am not the most proficient 6010 runner. I'm not even the most proficient stick welder. But for this machine, I mean, showing you guys it can run 6010, Pretty decent little run for me. I mean, I maybe run 6010 once or twice a year for about 30 minutes, so this will probably cover me for the rest of the year. But runs nice and smooth. Like I said, you can whip it pretty aggressive and it stays lit, and that's the most important thing with 6010. All right, so we just got done with the 6010. That's our cellulose rod. Let's go ahead and switch over to a standard rod. So we're gonna be running some 7018. We're gonna go arc force up to 35%. That way I can jam that rod right down in the puddle. We're gonna go with our hot start timing. Let's do 0.7. Okay. And we can max out at two seconds hot start timing. Go back down. That's our hot start percentage. Obviously go to zero all the way up to 100. We'll just set it at 80%. So now we're set up, eh, let's go down. Let's go down a couple amps. We're running 330 seconds, 7018, so let's go 80 amps. All right, here we are running the 330 seconds, 7018. So you see nice quick start. I'm pretty well known for sticking a rod pretty often and, and this thing lights up really nice and smooth. So here I am doing a little little wiggle, little circle action back and forth to break down each side of the wall of this uh, this little like quarter inch thick open corner joint that I'm running. You can see it's nice and stable, no issues here at all. Super, super smooth even, uh, you know, 718 smooth anyways, but this is this is real slick. Here's a closer look at that 7018 run. So they had a pretty nice little slag peel there. Probably could have tapered out a little bit better, but I'm not a stick welder. But uh, yeah, super smooth, nice clean start. Probably could have done a little bit better on this tie into that previous 6010 run, but we're not here to uh, impress you with my tie-in skills. So yeah, nice smooth run. You said I was doing a little bit of a circle action to uh, break down both sides of this wall, but it was a nice smooth run. That's how 7018 should run. So you can see that was a pretty decent 7018 run. I think we were dead on on amperage, but let's say you didn't know how to set up 7018. You're just trying to learn. So here's the power set mode. So you've got your electro diameter and your material work thickness, your arc force, your hot start, hot start timing. That's all gonna be auto set. You do have the option to turn your VRD on or off. So that's a, VRD reduces the open circuit voltage. So if you're in damp conditions, or you're in tight spaces where you might bump up against your, what you're grounded to, your workpiece with your stinger. Um, it won't shock you. Um, so then you can also select your rod type, 6011, 6013, 7014, 7018. 
And so yeah, you basically input your thickness, rod diameter, and your electrode type, and the machine will spit out um, rough amperage. And you've still got some adjustment in there. So you can go up 10 amps, you can go down 10 amps, and really fine tune. You know, if you're blowing through, okay, I need a couple less amps. Let's go down a little bit. Uh, it's not really melting through enough. We can go up a little bit too. So still some room to, to wiggle around in there, but really handy feature if you're, you're just starting out and trying to learn. Well, that concludes the stick portion of the Hurricane 220 MTSC. So remember guys, this is a MIG ACDC TIG stick and the C is for cut. So obviously we just ran the stick side. Um, you know, not trying to uh, blow your minds with um, my ability to stick weld today, but I wanted to show you guys it does run 7018 obviously very well, but this machine is rated to run cellulose rods and it, it does it without cutting out even with a, a pretty severe whip. So if you're looking for a, an all-in-one machine for your home garage or even a small business or small fab shop, the, uh, the Hurricane's a pretty good option. So give it a look. I'm Jesse McCollum with Everlast Welders. Weld safe.